petrol prices setting records every week. The search for an alternative is now very serious. Car makers like BMW and others are well into development of hydrogen and electric cars. But at this stage, they're too expensive and out of reach for most of us, which is why Daniel and Jack Oliver decided to find their own solution. For a few hundred dollars and some hard work, the brothers have managed to get an old Ford Falcon to run on water. Here's Rowan Wen. This old Falcon could be the car of the future. It runs partially on water. The research over the internet and things like that did take a bit of time, but the actual making of it and putting it onto the car was really quite simple. Until recently, mechanic Daniel Oliver and his younger brother Jack used their skills at the local lawnmower repair business in the regional town of Portland. But the relentless rises in the cost of petrol got the boys and their dad thinking. The research originally came from our father, Byron. He was uh, looking it up on the internet because he's an interstate truck driver and he wanted to have a, because the price of fuel is so high at the moment and doing it for a living, every little bit helps. The family hit upon a plan to convert their gas guzzler into a hydrogen hybrid. With a few hundred dollars worth of parts, they were away. In the early stages of conversion, there were a few problems. We had a bit of an incident in the shed where we lit it on fire and uh, blew it up. Luckily, the boys survived, as did the car. Learning from their mistakes, they've now created a real petrol-hydrogen hybrid. The hydrogen comes from ordinary tap water. When electricity is passed through the water, hydrogen gas comes out. When that mixes with the petrol, it helps it burn a lot more efficiently. So you end up using less petrol. We have uh, two hydrogen converters here, which takes the gas, which is hydrogen, out of the water, brings it up this tube here, comes into the safety, which is called a bubbler, brings it down this tube here, and simply puts it into the inlet manifold just before the throttle body there. And that mixes with the petrol, does it? Yeah, it does. It brings the actual fuel. Usually your fuel's about 70%. It actually brings it up the burn capacity to around 80 to 90 percent. So it's getting more out of the fuel that you're already using? Yeah, it is. Simple as that. Hydrogen's pretty volatile. Is it safe? Yeah, it's extremely safe. That's why we have the actual safety there, the bubbler. Yep. Just in case there is a, a backfire, a bit of a flashback, and it's only going into the water. On an average week, Daniel will go through one or two litres of water and a lot less petrol. I'm saving around 20% uh, on the fuel bill, so if you're spending $100 a week on fuel, doing a bit of travelling, saving yourself $20 a week. But what is fuel consumption like on longer trips? Well, to find out, we filled up Daniel's tank to the top and asked him to make a 100 kilometre round trip in his hybrid. For comparison, he took a mate along in a similar model car that hasn't been converted, also with a full tank of fuel. The results of that test in a moment, but first, are the boys onto something? Well, we asked Professor Harry Watson from the University of Melbourne whether hydrogen offers real hope. It certainly is the way forward because it allows you to drive without producing any carbon and therefore greenhouse gases. Back to that test and after 100 k's, the hydrogen hybrid had used 5.32 litres of petrol at a cost of $7.97. His mate on the other hand had burned through almost four times as much fuel. Daniel and Jack say the goal is to create a way for the car to run solely on hydrogen. They acknowledge it is early days, but add the results have been encouraging. It's actually better for your pocket and it's better for the environment, so there's no need that everyone shouldn't be able to do it.